I tried doing <clears throat> my last video uh, with a gift that Danny got me. My brother, Big D. A little small boombox. Like, not boombox, boom mic, I guess. And it looks cool. And I'm not saying it doesn't do the job, but I don't think it's, it's catching my voice. And apparently I speak too softly. So um, I have to do more tinkering with this if I can really use it for anything like this, like my videos. Um, so I'm going to tell you about my weekend. Um, not the whole weekend. There's one part of the weekend I'm not going to discuss in this video, possibly the next that I'm going to do. Um, so I went down to Big D's place and we were working on the car. We actually got the exhaust cut off. We cut that thing off. Uh, matter of fact, if you were my friend over the weekend on Facebook, um, you would have been able to see, um, as things happened on my story, um, you know, oh, we just cut off the, the muffler. Okay, we went down to AutoZone. It, it was a pretty cool experience. I, I, I was kind of proud of myself for documenting what I did so far. And um, luckily, I got enough people to kind of look at it. It kind of makes me want to go, okay, well, may I, maybe I should do the same thing next weekend. Um, but, like, we took off the muffler. We had to take out a majority of the uh, the actual exhaust pipe that was still rusted out. Um we had to get connectors that were like little Legos and kind of like connect them together. We had to find the right size and one store didn't have it. So we went to another store and it really didn't have it. But they said the other store in another town had it. So we went over there. Like Saturday was a fun day. Um, ran all over the place looking for these like not, not Lego pieces, like those like little tubes that like from like a two to a two and a three quarter and stuff like that. It was just kind of find the right size so that it would actually snugly fit in. We worked way it like late into the night, not like you know probably what, pa around ten. Is whenever we're like, okay, we're done. We're done with the actual car parts, <laughs> the actual exhaust part. So um, the next day we found out that there's a leak in the exhaust up front, uh, where a flex pipe happens to be. So um, rather than having to use a, I think it wasn't a buzz saw. It's a certain particular saw. I forget what it's called. Uh, rather than using that to cut the pipe, uh, we ended up using some kind of adhesive wrap that is designed for pipes, uh, especially exhaust pipes, and wrapped it around thinking that, okay, that'll fix the problem. So um, we did all that over the weekend. Uh, today being Monday, um, I went to go get the car insured in the morning, okay? Um, there's an, there's an agency that actually goes around, like they, they do the whole quote check thing, and they show, okay, this is the quotes from all the other places, and this is where, you you know, the cheapest, this is the most expensive, this is the cheapest, and, you know, you choose whatever you choose, and I obviously chose the cheapest, um, especially with my driving history, not, not bad at all, like, I think one ticket, I think, and that was like six years ago, so, like, um, my record was pretty decent, but I haven't had actual car insurance in my name before, so, um, you know, but, like, I got it today. Uh, I went to go get the car inspected, and I realized then I lost my registration card. So I had to go back to the notary and be like, hey, I lost my registration card. Can you please get me a replacement? Which wasn't a problem, but the thing was that because of the the confusion and delay, I had a lunch and I, wa I, I wanted to attend uh, with a friend, happened to miss that. And my friend was not taking my phone call. So there's that. They might be busy. You know, people are busy. People have lives. So I totally get that. Um, but I got the replacement card. I went to go... Well, I didn't... I knew I wasn't going to get it. My plan wasn't to get it inspected today. My plan was for them to see it. If it, if it was like, okay, well, this car's cool. We could expect it. I'm like, cool, do it. But it kind of go, well, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. I'm like, cool. I'll go take care of that. Be back later. Not that... Not, not today, obviously. But like, you know, later, like another week or whatever. And it was just kind of discouraging uh, um <sighs> the guy kind of laughed about the uh the park cannon which is what the what the muffler that Danny got um but the guy was pretty cool um I didn't catch his name at all but um he wants me the, the, apparently there's a I, I filled up the tank and that produced not produced but like it revealed a leak in the gas tank not a major leak but a leak that is noticeable at the very least so there's that and potentially, potentially, a ball joint that needs to be replaced with the sway bar. So there's that. <laughs> and he also said that the um, flex pipe 
that we were trying to use the adhesive on. It just didn't work. Uh, the damage is just too too severe, and we actually have to get a new flex pipe. And I was really discouraged about that because that entire running around was from nine o'clock to two. The entire running around was from nine o'clock to two, and just to find out, like, okay, it it did it, it wouldn't pass. I still have work to do on it, which is okay, which is fine. Just need to get on top of that. Um. Luckily, it stopped at 2 because I had parenting class, yes, parenting class, at 3.30. And I was able to convince a friend to come with me. Now, Danny, uh, Danny wanted, da sorry, Danielle wanted to come. Um, but she wanted to come as more support rather than taking the class. I'm like, I, I, I don't mind the support. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I'd much rather if you have wanted to go because you wanted to attend the class. Um, like, I don't need someone patting my back during a class going, yeah, good work on that one. You know, I'd much rather someone like if you were like to actually come and take the class and take it seriously with me. Um, but I found another friend who I was talking to about the program and the and and the friend was like, okay, yeah, yeah, I can definitely do that class. I can definitely do that without screwing up. <laughs> and it's and it, it would be a good thing. You know, she, um she I was gonna say shit. <laughs> and I just realized I just said it. Um Stuff was go was just really complicated with with their life, and they figured that maybe taking this extra class might be helpful. And I was like, "Yeah, sure, go right ahead. You know, I'll take you with me <laughs> in my car that isn't legal." <sighs> so, but it's it's like the next time over, and I really didn't want to miss this course, and. I drive up to their driveway, and I just happened to get a message from them, like, from five minutes ago. I, I don't answer messages while I'm driving. And they were saying, oh, sorry, um, my sister had to drop off her kid because she was going to the ER. And, um, you know, I, I can't just, you know, I just can't leave. And I was like, oh, awesome, cool. You know, you're, you know, it's fine. You know, it's cool. Uh, maybe next time. So I went to the parenting class by myself, which is fine because there's other people that went. Out of the seven people who signed up for it, um, three other people plus me uh, attended. So nice small class. And um, from what the teacher was saying, she was like, oh, Nick, you're doing really good. You know, you're, you're being open with the rest of the class. Um, you were helping break the ass of everybody else. Uh, you bring up a lot of good points during class and everything else. Uh, but... There was something. I was bringing up a lot of good points during class, a lot of good points, and I was bringing up a lot of my own personal experiences. Um, I wasn't disagreeing with the teacher at all. Matter of fact, a lot of times I was like, "Oh, I like that idea," and a lot of other times, like, "Hey, I haven't tried that idea, or I have tried this idea, and this is my experience about that idea." Nothing like, "Oh yeah, you know, just talking out, out the yazoo or whatever." That, that's not the kind of person that I am. Um, but I realized that a lot of the examples, I realized it's like maybe an hour and a half in, were of Danny's kids. I'm there for Xavier. And I knew nothing about his actual habits other than the snapshots of what I see uh, 30 minutes twice a week. And it's not like I can see Danny's kids. Like, I, I could, I guess, but like not in the same capacity as before. I'm not their father figure anymore. I'm barely my own son's father figure. And it just made me kind of think, like, what am I doing in this class? The assignments, like, the, the exercises here are things that, like, you know, parents who are always there with their kids can do. But not somebody who gets the snapshots that I do. And I was like, am I really, is this something I should be doing? So after class, I was like, hey, I, I don't know how to do these things. I don't have my son. I, I, I'm not seeing Danny, Danielle anymore. So I, 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 I'm, I, I can't do these things. I can't. I, I, they're kind of going to be wasted on me. And I, I, and I, I kind of find the right words. Like I know what I, what I just said. Like they're going to be wasted on me. I didn't say that, but like that's how I felt. But I wanted to still take the class. I like the class. I like learning. I like knowing new things and learning new techniques and getting new tools so I can fix problems that arise. I just needed help to be able to associate those things with my life. And she and she sat down and she looked me directly in the eyes like, hey, you are a smart guy and you are definitely trying. 
which is a lot more than what a lot of people do. Stick with this, and we'll come to you. And if you do really need any kind of help, we are here. We are the agent. They're the agency that is going to advocate for it to be actual face to face that we're going to have. Me and Xavier. So like that helped, but I, I don't know. I really don't. I I don't know if I'm doing the right things anymore. And this on top of what happened on Sunday, just I just feel so. I don't know. Insecure. Um, just beaten down and tired. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have an answer right now. I don't. But I have about a week. <laughs> the next five days, because Saturday, well, Saturday morning or Friday night, I'm going back up to Clearfield with Danny. If Danny's still going to have it, because I don't know. This weekend, Danny's kind of seemed like a little bit frustrated. I'm like, you know, oh, Nick, you're wrong about all your ideas. It's not going to work. You're being an idiot. And, you know, I had to fight for the small changes that I did, that I was able to make and or suggest. Maybe he's feeling his own fatigue with this. And I can't. I, I, I can't risk feeling fatigue about this. I can't risk having second guesses. The teacher even said, don't, don't second guess yourself. You're making the right moves. You just need to find a way to make them work. I got to find a way to make this work. So even though today and last night was a bad day, I got to go to sleep tonight, wake up tomorrow, and find a way to make this American dream come true. I don't got this. But I'm going to give it my damnedest to make sure that I will at least not completely fail. I can't give up now. I'm not going to give it. I'm not just going to give it the college try. I'm going to give it everything I got. And I'm just going to hope it's going to be enough. <laughs>